Well, hello everyone, and welcome. I'm Marion, the inappropriate artist, and we are back on this painting again. I am now working on the trees. Last week I brought you the clouds, doing it in stages as each of these areas I allowed myself to do separately so that they could dry and I could study them for a little longer before I moved on to the next area. You'll see here I'm working on the creating depth in my tree trunks with different levels of light and dark. Got a little fly get in there. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, yeah, a little, a little guest appearance by the fly. So now I'm working on these beautiful branches and creating um, a little bit more shape to my trunks. This was a wonderful old growth longleaf pine and I must say it is a rarity in the south to see that because most of these national forests do do controlled burns and they also allow um, logging. So just past this farm on the road was an entire area that looked like it had been massacred, at least as far as I could see. And I know this was to someone's naked eye who'd come from the northeast where when we have a national forest, nothing gets touched. You know, they're very careful to maintain them in a very different way. But they do allow industry to use the lumber. And so areas get cut and trees get replanted. And so most of the forests that I saw were really young growth forests. So this tree was very special to me in that it looked like the oldest tree I had seen yet. And so I wanted to give it its due and spend some time on it. As I do this voiceover, I have a kitten sleeping on my shoulders. So I am my fault. I hunched over to do this and she planted herself and now I'm stuck in this position. Although it works quite well. I've been spending some time there, you see, on the branches of these pines, trying to get their shape right. I do believe I accomplished it in this particular painting. And I switched brushes to this wonderful long, what they call liner brush. I love it for making branches. It has a wonderful flexibility to it and allows me to do really tiny thin lines as well as allowing to grow the lines thicker as I go. Now working on that distant area, putting in some distant chunks and branches, as it was early spring, you know, the foliage was not fully out yet. Going back in for some highlights. Didn't mean to pull that out of the picture. It'll come back in just a moment. There we go. And as you can see, the trees have really taken shape. Now I'm adding the foliage to the distant trees, being careful to still leave the trunks and some of those bare branches visible and adding some bare branches to that area in the distance beyond the barn. Using a dry brush to blend. They were quite far away. You weren't going to see too many tiny details. Now 
onto the foliage on these beautiful longleaf pines. Very much like pom-poms at the end of the branch, you know, they, it has a wonderful look where you can really see through the tree. I like that. They're very fluffy, almost look. You know, I'm used to those dense white pines of the Northeast, and these are certainly not as dense. And as the gouache dries, sometimes I have to go back and darken, because darks dry lighter and lights dry darker, as they say in the gouache world. Now here I started getting carried away, working on my shadows. Getting a little bit ahead of myself. But wanting to create uh, the distance behind those trees. Got a little carried away in the grass area and ended up having to blend that all in. And I wanted to add a little retaining wall detail that I saw in the image. They did have a fence there, but it was so rickety and distracting from the image that I opted out of that fence and that is my prerogative as the artist I wanted to just have that hint of movement there without getting carried away working on another part of the painting allows the part of the painting that I'm working on to dry so that I can see where I need to add or subtract. Now once the paint dried more fully I started to work on those background areas in between the branches where there were distant trees and those trees were yet to have foliage on them. It's really just creating almost that ghostly shadow of branches beyond the tree. Thank you everyone for joining me today. That is the Longleaf Pine of the South. We'll see you next week. Take care.